back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial. Um, I saw this on Instagram a good few weeks ago and I was like, I love that look. So it's this look here. It's really, really simple, but still very, very elegant, I feel. So yeah, I'm going to do my best to recreate it. Hopefully it works out. I highly doubt it will, but let's just see how it goes. <laughs> So in the picture, her face does look very, very glowy and very just luminous, but not shimmery or anything like that or overly highlighted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a moisturizing primer with a more luminous primer. So this one is the Makeup Forever HD Primer, which I believe they've renamed to be the One Step Primer. And I'm going to be mixing that with my Clarins Instant Light Radiance Boosting Complexion Base in the shade champagne. So I'm just going to mix that with the Makeup Forever primer and then I'm going to apply that all over my face. The reason why I'm mixing the two is just because I really wanted to put a bit more hydration into my skin because my skin is feeling really really dry today. But both those primers are amazing on their own. So before we move on to the face, I'm going to prime my eyes. So I'm going to be using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I've been loving this one recently. I feel like it just blanks out your like everything on your eye like all the veining and stuff and just makes your eye like one tone i love it so much and it is a matte skin color but of course you can use whatever you are comfortable with onto foundation now i'm going to be using mac studio fix fluid this is in the shade nc20 i've used this for quite a while now it's not one of my favorites but it definitely does give an amazing finish to the skin um, so i'm going to be using that today because it does match my fake tan quite well and now I'm just going to blend it out with an angled top kabuki brush. I'm going to take my Chi Chi Brow Pomade and I'm just going to apply that to my eyebrows. This one is in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm going to use a teeny tiny brush, see how that goes to kind of mimic real hairs. So I'm going to conceal my under eyes, first taking my Bobbi Brown Corrector in the shade Peach. So I'm using an orange which is counteracting the purpley bluey tones underneath my eyes. Um, I love this product so much. You don't need to buy this one, but any kind of like orangey salmon color will do the job. So because Kylie's under eye areas are quite yellow, what I'm going to be doing is mixing two concealers together from my MAC. Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in the shade Medium. I'm going to be using this yellow shade and this shade up the top here just to kind of correct my under eye circles, just to kind of make them look a bit more skin toned. Actually, I might just use the yellow shade on its own. I think it's doing quite a nice job. I'm also just going to put this on points on my face that I would normally highlight. So for example, my forehead, down the nose, above the lip. So now it's time to set my eye. Can you hear my chicken? <laughs> anyway, so the reason why I put on that MAC paint pot before instead of like now is because if I close my eyes, you can, st well, I don't know if you can see, but I can definitely see that it has creased a little bit. So what I do is I tap that product away because that's excess product that is not needed. I tap it away and the other eye as well. And then I set it with the powder because if you don't, if you have too much product on your eye, that's what causes creasing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Kat Von D shade light palette, taking this color here, and I'm just going to set my eyes. To be honest, you can use any color you want. You can use the yellow, you can use this peach color. Why don't we just use that as well? Um, just to set the eye and set the eye base. You can use an eyeshadow, whatever you want to do. I'm going to be taking a post-it note or two post-it notes and this is going to basically be the sticky tape technique. So I'm just going to apply it to my hand and then take away a little bit of the tackiness. It's a post-it note so it's not as sticky as a um, as a sticky tape or as sticky tape. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up with my lower lash line, connect and my eyebrow so just like that and yes I will have to redo my under eye concealer that's why I didn't set it if you can try if you want to do this freehand all power to you girlfriend but I can't <laughs> so moving on to eyeshadows I'm gonna start off with makeup geek creme brulee which is this one right here I'm gonna be using this as my transition shade um, her eye look is relatively warm, so I'm going to start off with this one, see how we go. Just applying that to the socket with a fluffy brush. 
Just bear in mind that I obviously have a very, very different eye shape to her, so it will obviously look a lot different, um, but hopefully I can recreate it in terms of color and stuff like that to the best of my ability. Now I'm gonna take a slightly more precise brush, and I'm gonna be taking Cocoa Bear, I think that is. Yeah, Cocoa Bear just a tiny little bit, and I'm gonna mix it in with a little bit of Max Swiss Chocolate, which is just above that. So I'm just gonna mix those two shades together, tap off any excess, and I'm just gonna apply that to kind of my lower crease. For the lid, I'm just gonna be taking Sable by MAC, because it looks the closest to what she has on her eye, because it is definitely a mid-tone, more shimmery color. Not really shimmery, but more of a sheen, which Sable does have. So I'm just going to be applying that to my eye. I'm now going to be taking a teeny tiny brush and I'm just going to take Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek and putting that in the inner corner because she does look like she has a little bit of a highlight in there, nothing too intense, so that's why I'm not using MAC Nylon like I normally do. Um, Shimmer Shimmer is just a little bit more subtle. Now for my favorite part of the whole look, which made me want to do it so much, is she used, well at least it looks like she's used a shadow as an eyeliner. That's why I've put the, the post-it note there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Mocha from Makeup Geek, just on a pencil brush. This one's from EcoTools, very, very affordable. I think they're only about $4 on iHerb. So definitely love this brush so much. And it's got a sharpener on the end, it's amazing. Love this brush so much. Um, and I'm just going to basically do a wing using a eyeshadow. I feel like she actually used a little bit of a more black brown, so I'm gonna mix Mocha with Corrupt. Hers is quite up, but I personally don't really suit that look, so I'm gonna only gonna do a baby wing, but if you're comfortable doing a bit of a higher wing, definitely go for it. And I'm only gonna be doing it till about the middle of my eye, so basically just drawing it diagonal to about the middle of my eye because it doesn't really look like she's brought it all the way in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking off my post-it notes now. That sounds so weird when I say it. Just so I kind of know where I need to kind of fix things and stuff. So I do need to put concealer here again. Um, so it's okay if I am a little bit messy because I will be cleaning it up with concealer later. Which kind of defeats the purpose of me putting on concealer before but whatever. You live and you learn. I hardly ever do this technique. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the brown and I'm just going to kind of extend the line a little bit because it's a little bit thin. I feel like you always have that one side that turns out better than the other and this side definitely turned out better than this side today. I have no idea what I'm doing guys. Please excuse me. I'm not a professional makeup artist. I'm just an average girl trying to do makeup. So what I'm gonna do, because I have really, really bad dark under eye circles, is I'm actually gonna be using my Kevin Aquan Essential Skin Enhancer. Um, I thought that I didn't need to use it today, but my under eye circles are so bad, so I'm going to use it anyway. Um, I really should have just used one concealer alone with my corrector, but whatever, you live and you learn. Okay, so to set the highlighted parts of my face, I'm just gonna be using the banana shade mixed with the pinky shade. I have no idea what these are called, but yeah, I'm just going to use those two shades mixed together and I'm just going to dab that underneath my eye. So to set the rest of my face, because Kylie's face is absolutely flawless, like literally flawless, like not even a pore, I am going to be using my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. Um, this is the pressed version. I've used it a few times. It is quite nice. They do include a puff, but I prefer to use a brush. So this is just a translucent powder. And I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush and I'm just going to be applying that to the centers of my face. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm going to be using the Bronzed and Poreless by Too Faced because she does look like she has a very, very natural glow. Um, as you can see from this powder, it's not too dark. Um, so I do quite like it when I need a more natural bronze to the skin. I'm not really using this very, very precisely. Um, I'm just kind of putting it where the hollows of my cheeks are. All of Too Faced bronzers are actually amazing. I think I own all of them but one. And seriously, they are so amazing, every single one of them. Also taking that just on my forehead a little bit and around my face, just to give my face a little bit of shape. Now I'm just gonna take the Endless Summer Bronzer from Too Faced, which just looks like this. It's a, it's around the same tone as the Milk Chocolate Bronzer by Too Faced. 
Um, I'm just going to be contouring with this very, very lightly. So Kylie is definitely wearing a blush, so what I'm going to be doing is using a highlighting blush so I don't need to use a highlighter because she doesn't look like she's wearing a highlighter in the picture at all. She just looks like she's very, very lit from within. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline's Master Highlights Blush in the shade Coral, which looks like this. This is really, really gorgeous. I'm only taking it on a fan brush. This has been my favorite way to apply blush recently. And I'm just gonna apply this to the apples of the cheeks and just bring it up just a little bit. Now to finish off the lower lashes, I am just going to be taking a little bit of sable and I'm gonna be mixing that in with a little bit of Swiss chocolate, just mixing those two shades together. And I'm gonna be applying that to the lower lashes. Okay, so because my memory card is actually going to be filling up very quickly, I'm going to go off camera, I'm going to apply my mascara, and I'm just going to put on my fake eyelashes, and I'll come back for the lips. Okay, so I am back. Mascara and eyelashes are on. I use the Ardell Wispy Lashes. I am looking closer at the picture that she uploaded to Instagram, and it does look like she has a lot more purple on the lower lashes. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this shade. I don't know what it's called. What is it called? Star Violet. And I'm just going to apply that to the lower lashes as well. Just a little bit. And also, in one of the photos, she does have her waterline lined with a black eyeliner. I'm because I'm looking at two pictures. One picture, there's no black. The other picture, there's definitely a black liner there. So I am going to use a little bit of a black eyeliner. This one is just a small sample size of the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes liner in black. So I'm just going to be taking a pink lip liner. This is Nude or Perfect Nude by Too Faced. I'm sure she's using one of her own lip colors on her lips, but I don't own any of her lip colors, so I'm just going to do the best with what I've got. So it is a nice, very, very feminine pink shade that she has on her lips, if you can see that there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give Chi Chi Game On a go and see how that looks on the lips. It's not the exact same color as what she has on, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of Revlon Elusive. Um, this is one of their matte balm color stain things. It's not the exact color that she has on in the picture, but I feel like it does suit my complexion a lot better. Um, so I'm gonna stick to that. Okay, I'm really, really happy with that lip color. 